Hi, my talk will be return to sports after hyperoscopy. This is uh, so very important for the athlete. This is a mission possible. So here is the disclosure. The many athletes present to us with hip pain and dysfunction related to the femoral stubble impingement. And hip arthroscopy is less invasive and promising tool for treating the FAI. So return to sports is the ultimate goal of osteop uh, post-operative rehabilitations and a source of that on the worry about the uncertainty of injured athlete and the capabil capability of returning to the same and or higher level where they performed prior to the injury. The previous injury is associated with up to fourfold increase of the risk of injuries. Uh, those 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 <coughs> those data uh, Really associated with uh, ACL reconstructions after surgery. Um, the, there is a dose of the standardization of RTP decision making after hip arthroscopy surgery. This is a, uh, we, this is a postal operative protocol which we usually use. Uh, the most of, most of uh, there are several studies looking at the post-operative rehabilitation protocols. The, the most of them consist of four phases. Uh, phase one uh, is uh, is protection and protection of the repair tissue and uh, man pain management or decrease the inflammation. And also phase two uh, is consists of standardization and the muscle standardization on gait and core stabilization is very important. And phase two, three, and muscle strengthening and squatting, the lunging, lunging, and core stabilization. And when we uh, the athlete accomplished the phase three, we usually uh, evaluate the sport, uh, the page, uh, athlete functional. Uh, function by sports tester, which is described by Dr. Mark Philippons. Uh, this is a uh, 20 years old American football players uh, who performed uh, the FAS surgeries. Do you have a point? Do we have a pointer from the technique? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can, as you can see, oh, as you can. <laughs> As you can see, the 3D scans, CT scan shows the as, as the ossicle at the level uh, AIS at, as a level of AIS, and also the bump at femoral head neck junctions. We perform the, the takes the ossicle away and level fixation and camo osteoplasty, and after afterwards uh, camo. And also, perhaps afterwards, uh, capsular application was performed. And then this guy actually uh, returned to sports without any decision making. He decided to by himself at four months after surgery. Well, <laughs> what happening is that the, uh, acute onset of growing pain uh, after at four months after surgeries. Uh, you can see the MRI shows the plus muscle strain injuries. So in appropriate return to spray cause a higher risk of re-injuries. So return to sports after surgery is a, there, uh, there is a <coughs> there is a study looking at the systematic review uh, and 685 studies using four databases were searched until 2014. And 18 of 658 studies met the inclusion criteria. And 1977 participation and 1,076 hips, and 10% bilateral hips, and 76% of the male, the mean age 28 years old. And 38% professional athletes, and 36% of recreational athletes, and 11% college athletes and 6% high school. And 73% uh, underwent hip arthroscopy and 21% open surgery and 6% uh, under, underwent mini uh, open, mini open combined with arthroscopic surgery. Um, the results showing the level of competition, um, the 
that six months after surgery, professional athlete is returned to higher higher rate of compared to the recreational athlete. And one year, 88% of the professional athlete return to sports uh, compared to a higher rate of compared to the recreational sports. And 1.6 years, uh, the ninety-five percent of the professional sports can could can return to sports compared to a college athlete. And interestingly, ninety percent of high school athletes could return to sports. So, professional athletes present a higher rate of return to sports compared to with recreational or college athletes. So. A series of 24 professional Australian football players, the only athlete who could not return to sports, had more than 40% of cartilage loss at the time of hip surgery. And another study is looking at a series of 45 ice hockey players, only three athletes who could not return to sports presented with diffuse hip arthritis at the time of the surgery. So, so systematic review summarized 85, 87% of athletes with symptomatic FAI returned to sports after hip surgery. 82% could return to the same level at sports. And professional athletes present higher rate of return to sports compared with a, a recreational college athlete. And diffuse hip also athletes at the time of hip surgery may not allow athletes to return to sports. So caution note is that return to sports does not always be corresponding to the high satisfaction and excellent sports ability after hip surgery for the FAI. So post-operative rehab, decision-making RTP approach are also important for the athlete to return to sports. So, so return to sports required excellent, not only excellent surgery, but also uh, return to sports physiotherapy and return to play the frameworks. Return to frameworks consists of main, two main uh, frameworks. This is one, one of them is a rational framework. Uh, the, the, the hospital clinician should, should accurately diagnose the precise assessment and the treatment. So clinician correctly interpret these elements. And also the emotional framework is also important. So psychological readiness and confidence is very important because there is a strong, strong pressure from the coach and the teammate and the media and the sponsors. So there, there are also additional factors influence that must be considered. This is a, uh, this is a good model decision based on RTP model, return to play model, uh, described by Creighton's uh, 2010. And step one, step three, and step three. Uh, step two and step three. And uh, step one is uh, is a very important. The evaluation of health status. The step two is a sports participation risk, and the step three decision modifications. So the clinician must consider the evaluation of uh, health status. It consists of medical factors. This is a very important to uh, understanding uh, how much healing has occurred and uh, how close to the normal the previous injury tissue is. So patient demography and so uh, how much the athlete has a symptom and uh, sign if the physical examination showing the uh, pain and also uh, limited flexion. Uh, Clinician should not allow them to return to spray. And also, larger graphic, including the MRI and ultrasound, can show the, how much the repair tissue is shown. And also, functional test is also very important. Okay. And the sports disc modifier also uh, associated with the sports participation, type of sports and the position played, and the limit dominance, and the competitive level, and the ability to protect. So also decision making model modification time season the pressure from athlete external pressure and conflict of interest are also important. So decision making uh, possible to the return to sport is the diagnosed treatment decision make to for the return to sports also should be considered by the orthopedic surgeon and also in injury prevention the high performance also uh, should be 
considered by athletic trainer, physiotherapist, physical, physical coach. All, all health care providers should communicate each other. In conclusion, 87% of athletes with symptomatic FAI return to sports after hip surgery. Three-step RTP model for the decision making is crucial for us to make mission possible to return to sports for the athlete. Thank you.